This is what we used to make the bait. Okay guys, here is what we're gonna test today. Good old trusty corn. This one is from last week actually. I used that I have in that session where the big carp kicked my rod in the water. Uh, so this one is kinda old, but if you put it in the freezer in a ziplock, it's still fresh. And on the other hand, we're gonna compare against coconut pop-up boilies, 14 millimeter from Starbaits. Now one important note here, you understand why, it says it's excellent for neutral buoyancy rigs. Now what this means is that these pop-ups are not very buoyant, okay? They float just a little bit. In Europe they call this, you know, critical buoyancy. It means that it lifts up very little but it doesn't stick like this, like a piece of styrofoam and when the carp pushes it around it gets back to vertical position right away. They don't like to make them too buoyant because then they don't float natural. This one is has so little buoyancy that I didn't even have to put a lead under the hook to keep it on the bottom. The weight of the hook alone was able to keep this pop-up on the bottom but uh, yeah very stinky very strong coconut smell guys and if they don't stink enough most of these pop-ups that you buy from Europe come with a little cup of booster looks like white honey okay Whoa, strong stink so at first I am not going to use the booster okay I'm gonna just put them as they are because they stink a lot already but if I catch a few fish on one of them and I need to recast then I might add a little bit of boost okay so let's see the actual setup for today okay guys let me show you what's going in the water the one on the left corn coconut boily the same rig as always Usually I put a piece of lead right over here so the hook doesn't go floating all the way but like I told you, this particular one, you don't need it. The boilie is not scented right now. Hey, but neither is my corn. That's a fair fight, okay? And two more on the other side. Corn and boilie. Okay, I'm using boilie hook for the boilies and corn hook for the corn. The feeders on top, the same bait for both of them. Okay, let's get them casted. So, sorry you can't be able to recognize which one is on boiler, which one is on corn today because I had a pair of yellow rods, but one of them went in the river. I ordered another one, it's only 25 bucks, but I'm waiting for it to come back. So, for today, the bait casters they are green, they're gonna be on boiler. I am fishing on the fox, but I forgot my net. Have you ever tried to pull a carp in the boat without a net? It's slippery enough to do this on the bank. So, I don't know what I'm going to be doing today. I saw this method from Salty Kayak. Let me see if I can do it on camera. You grab it with this little edge here to hold the hook. That's it. Unfortunately today the river is really low. Guys, sorry for freezing the frame, but I want to remind you one more time before we start catching the fish. So the spinning rods are black and they have the corn. The bait cast rods are green and they have the boilie. And that usually shuts down the, the fish 
on the river and on top of that the pressure is dropping rapidly off the first one Take a quick look because I'm gonna unhook him in the water. Whoa, 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 another one. Yeah, we need to take care of this fish pretty quickly. Oh, he's a mirror. He's a mirror. Okay, let's go. One one. Okay. I was wondering what happened with boil. And I don't know if it's snack or that's just a huge fish. Opa, opa, opa. Ajde. Čuvaš li? Na carvic ta pak. There we go. Guys, there's a fish here.
this rod, the line got snagged that I was pulling this fish. I just wanted to recast it. There's a fish here. Show yourself. Say hi. Say hi to camera. Huh? See the white boil in the mouth? Okay, we let you go. See the boilie? Hooked properly. Okay guys, let's do a quick recap. First of all, before I talk about the results, the water was too low today and the bite was slow. I still got enough bites on video, but I stayed a long time. I stayed like seven and a half hours to get enough bites, so I have good degree of certainty in the results okay uh, last time I got like 16 uh, fish in three and a half hours like almost the same number of bites for half the time but anyway I stayed the time and we got enough fish and uh, technically I think the corn slightly edged out the star baits coconut pop-ups okay but I think the difference is too small to call a winner. Uh, I think this kind of difference is... I don't know what the exact difference is because I lost count uh, midway through the race, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's too close. I'll let you know when I edit the video, but to me a difference this small is within the margin of error. So for me today I got confidence in this particular boilie. I still have quite a few boilies left here and uh, if I go fish somewhere else overnight I have confidence to leave this boilie all night. It's a good boilie, the fish liked it, uh, that's all that matters to me. 
these results you can always have a little bit of luck in one direction or another I ended the recap here because of these guys but I wanted to let you call the winner on this one anyway let me know in the comments if you think it's a draw or corn one but uh, if you want to see more tests like this uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and I will see you at the next uh, bait test